So Tony, Tony Marini, here we are inside La Strada, inside the El Dorado, uh, right here in the heart of downtown. Tell me a little bit about where we are, your history here with the El Dorado, Silver Legacy, Circus Circus. You have a steep multi-decade history here. Tell me a little bit about it. You know what, it started April of 1994 as a valet parker. Um, I, I've always wanted to be a valet and I went to uh, my Aunt Rhonda Carano and said, hey, can I get a valet job? And she got me a valet job and that's where it all started. Um, spent about three years of my life parking cars and learning and um, Mr. Carano came to me one day and said, if you're gonna stay in this business, you need to get out of valet and start learning and I did. And He put me through a vigorous uh, a management training program all through um, hotel, all through food and beverage, all through casino, um, accounting, um, and um, here I am today, Vice President of Casino Operations and Community Relations, um, 30 years later, um, still with them and growing and learning and enjoying every day just like it was back in those ballet days in the 90s. Wow, I can just imagine the stories that you could tell, maybe some you don't, uh, can't tell, um, you're in the birthplace of the mushroom ravioli. We're right here uh, in La Strada. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But tell me about how important it is to have this uh, just incredible set of properties right in the heart of our city. Well, I mean, they are the staple in downtown Reno. We are downtown Reno. We look at it that way. Yes, we have some other casino partners down here, but we are the heart of downtown Reno. And um, it's awesome to be a part of so much stuff, every event every um, meeting, everything that goes on, we're, we're right in the middle of it, and, it, and, it, and it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, a lot of opinions, as you guys well know, um, but we, uh, you know, we strive and we want to be the leader in the model, and we continue to work with everybody to help and be the model so that we can make downtown better, so we can make it cleaner, we can make it safer, we can make it more fun to walk outside and walk down the street. That's something that, uh, you know, everybody says, oh, downtown, hey, come down and experience it. This weekend is a prime example with Italian Fest. I mean, everybody says, oh, they don't come downtown. Everybody comes downtown for Italian Fest. So, um, you know, 30, 40,000 people are coming this weekend. Um, you brought up the uh, mushroom ravioli. I mean, we've had Christmas dinner in this room my entire life. Ever since La Strada has been here, I've been in this room for Christmas dinner. Um, so there's a lot of um, long time memories here. You know, from my grandfather, Dario Bellacqua, who was the pasta chef. Um, here at the Elder yeah. for 25 years um, to now it's graduated into we make all of our pasta for La Strada. It's all handmade. It's not made in machines. So um, a lot of cool stories, a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of heritage and family this weekend. Well, and, and again, I don't think you can say Reno without saying Carano in the same breath. I, they certainly have a, uh, a steeped history here in, in our community and they're so fundamental in the history, but also the current and the future, and Caesars Entertainment and all the great things that it has going on. So I'm very happy to, to be here and, and getting some information from you today about some of the great things going on. You talked about the Italian Festival. Tell me a couple other special events that are specific to Caesars Entertainment and, and the downtown properties. Well, I want to make sure that, you know, we are a part of every event we can be a part of. Um, we have some staples in our uh, in our stable, I guess you would say. Um, barbecue Blues and Brews Festival, which happens in June. Phenomenal beer tasting, barbecue, great music, just a lot of fun, great two-day event. Um, and then we go right into our Chicken Wing Festival, which started out small and has turned into this monster event that we think that we might be able to get another day out of. You know, we've discussed adding another day because we think that uh, there's enough legs on that event. Um, and then we started this year, first ever, our Latin Festival. Um, huge success. Um, the streets look great, everything looked good, the entertainment was phenomenal, and then we always, you know, basically wrap up our event season with Italian Fest. And, um, it's our biggest, it's the most fun, it's the one that everybody in the company shows up for. Um, all the families show up, it's just, it's a phenomenal week, and my mom has cooked in all 42 of these. Wow! So, um, it's definitely a family weekend, my, you know, my kids look at it as Sunday is basically their favorite day of the year. Yes, we'll, we'll be down here enjoying some flatbread pizza uh, on Saturday for sure. So uh, part of what we talked about a little bit was the commitment to the community and the overall improvement of the experience for downtown. And certainly you guys have shown that through all the special events, through the things that you sponsor, to your contributions to the community. Um, we um, at the 
downtown arena partnership we have our set of ambassadors that are out there on the streets uh, helping to pick up trash and and deal with social issues I know that we have daily interactions with individuals from your properties. Can you speak to how we coordinate and collaborate? What's your experience been with the ambassadors and, and your staff? So, didn't up until a couple years ago, didn't know a lot about it. Okay, now I'm a card carrying member of the Downtown Reno Partnership uh, and understand and you know have a big, probably a deeper dive into what goes on on a daily basis. The hotline, absolutely phenomenal. You know, uh, whoever answers the phone, whichever ambassador has it, always professional, always um, attentive, and you know knows exactly where you're talking about. Um, the partnership that we have with our team and your team is um, it, it's pretty remarkable because we work so well together on making sure. You know, we're six city blocks, any way you look at it. So they have to interact with us. They have to be a part of it. And, um, everything I've seen so far has been absolutely phenomenal. I think everybody understands that if we're going to uh, see what the next potential and, and great thing is for downtown Reno, that having solid partners like the Carano family and you, Tony, and Caesars Entertainment to help us get there is really critically important. And we just want to take an opportunity to also say thank you to you and all that your efforts that you do on a daily basis. I'm down here all the time. You're down here all the time. You really are putting in the work. So I just want to say thank you on behalf of, of the Downtown Reno Partnership for everything that you do 